Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with the Paranormal Pantivity Project Pan Update. This was created by Andrea or Pretty as a Peacock. I will link her down below. This is being done in conjunction with the Fantastic Ladies, which is a Facebook group dedicated to panning makeup and I will also link that down below. So, the idea behind this is kind of spooky supernatural items. You pick, you start with six prompts and then as you finish one, finish prompts, you roll more in. It started on September 24th and it goes to September 24th of 2023, which is National Ghost Hunting Day. I do not have any empties this time, unfortunately, but I do have some progress on some items. First is Afterlife, uh, something that's past its expiration date. I still have not started this. Hopefully I can get it started the next month. It is the Biro New York Bitter Green Essence Toner. Because it is a toner, I'm not terribly worried about the expiration date. But it did technically expire in September of this year. So the sooner I can get that started, the better I will feel. Next is Domovic, uh, something that follows you from house to house. I chose this single eyeshadow from Too Faced, which tells you how old it is. This is a shade, this is in the shade Socialite. My goal is to hit pan. I have used it once. The tip has gotten a little bit deeper. So thankfully I have at least used it this time because last time we were here I, I had not touched it. I am focusing more on my pan that palette items at the moment because it is the end of the year and I want to get done as much as I can. I mean the palette is rolling over in an extra anyway but if I can finish another shade or two, I'll feel a lot better. <laughs> so that's not getting much love right now. Uh, next is Revenant, something that comes back, has been repurchased. Uh, this is my third one of these, so I figured it qualified. The Tree Hut Coconut Lime Post Shave Soothing Mist. Here are my marks. Uh, we are going fairly steady. I've been kind of forgetting to use this, which is why I keep putting it these in Project Pans when I get them otherwise, despite them treating my my legs so much better than without. I forget to use them, but I've still been kind of forgetful. I need to be better about that. Next is something else I haven't used <laughs> is the Tower of London, something that makes you lose your head, you know, for better or worse. I chose for better because I do love this. It is the Ofra Highlight in Space Baby. Uh, my goal is 10 uses. I have only used it once and I have not used it since the last update, so. I wear this with blue looks, and I haven't worn a blue look this month. That's the, been the problem with that. I know I can wear it with other things. That's just my preference. Next is Banshee, something that is close to finishing, and I chose this Maybelline uh, Color Tattoo, just 24-hour crayon concentrate in Lilac Lust. Here is my paper progress. I used it twice since last time, but you know, it's not quite done yet. Hopefully in the next month I can get it done. I can't imagine I have too many more wears out of this. Probably three to four wears. Now I've been focusing on, like I said, my Pan That palette with a lot of warmer shades in it. So my other uh, eyeshadow base that I've been panning is what's been getting a lot of use, not this, but I may need to just suck it up for like a week and wear this until it's gone. And finally, I have Ghost, something with unfinished business or something you did not finish. So you have a lot of these lately. I chose, it's repressed into my Pan That palette, but it is the shade uh, Psychedelic Sister from Urban Decay. I will put a picture here of what it looked like last time. Here's what it looks like now. I did use it once, so there is some progress. But once again, not a ton. This project, I almost didn't want to film it this month because nothing has a huge amount of progress. Cup two things I didn't even use, so I don't have any rollouts, but for the sake of continuity, I did decide to get an update up. So short and very short, <laughs> that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!